All right, so my 12 Pro Max finally came in. And as always, I've got the nice Unicorn Beetle Pro case waiting for it. That is a huge case for a massive phone, but that's okay. It's going to be cool. Had to upgrade the battery on my old 8 Plus. was getting getting rough and old. So the first thing I always do with these cases is I take off this little inside plastic screen protector thing. So I'm going to do that. So what I'll do is I'll pop all this out. Like so. See this, I want this gone. It makes it tough to use the screen and everything like that. Um, you can put in a better screen protector if you want, but I just I always take these off with these phones. I love these cases. Um, but the main thing that I want to change on these is I wish they had an option. You could just order these without the built-in screen protector. Even at the same price, I'm not mad at it. So let me chop this out of here. I'll probably pop it out as, as best I can. If not, I'll use a knife to slowly go around the edges in here. Um, you could probably also use something like Goo Gone or something like that to make the glue come out or like a heat gun type uh, hair dryer or something like that. And then the glue and everything should come off, I believe. But I don't have a hair dryer sitting around here or anything like that. So I'm gonna do the old knife trick. So let me do that. not as gold as I thought it would be. It looks kind of silver, silverish looking. Yeah, that's like a lighter gold. It's cool. I wanted a more yellow gold type look, but that's fine. It looks good. It'll look decent with the case. I actually wanted the blue one, the Pacific blue or whatever they call it for the Pro Maxes, but they said it was like another month wait or something like that. And I was like, no, nah, I'm good. I'm gonna put a case on anyways, so it doesn't really matter. So I think that looks okay. The red and gold, it looks all right. If it were a darker gold, that would be better. Um, I might switch this out for a blue case later. They're like 20 bucks for these cases. You really can't beat the price. So I love them. So I'm gonna get this together, take this off, the little plastic inside, pop that in there, and then I'll be good to go. All right, so how to install this phone. In the case, you can pause that if you want to use this installation guide. But it's pretty straightforward. Take your phone. Put the front thing on like so. You see where the camera and everything is in the back? You'll line it up like so. Pop that in. Of course it popped out, cool. Make sure everything is lined up, set in place. All your little ports and everything. Make sure all your buttons work. So click on, click off. You're good to go. That's it. That's a good looking phone. I like the case. Now it does come with a little stand right here. So if you're watching movies or anything like that, you can set it down like so. You're laying in bed or whatever, or you're watching a movie, you know, you're cooking dinner or something like that. You want to have the phone propped up. You're, you're looking at a recipe or you're watching something while you're cooking, right? That's cool. But that's mainly not what I use these for. What I like to do is when you're carrying around the phone, you don't want to drop it in like the water or something here at the lake or the beach or something like that. You're taking pictures over the side of a boat where it can sink. I've lost phones that way. One phone, actually. Taking a picture of a fish, it sunk like a rock in the ocean. So to prevent that, or when you're carrying it around, you want it more secure, you can just stick your finger through like so, and you have a little bit more grip and retention on this thing but these are great phone cases i love them i've also used them on ipads multiple phones i had the iphone 11 last year which i got rid of because i wasn't digging it i did that little purple case review on it so this year i got this um so one thing that's cool about them this year is 
This was actually really easy to take out. There was a bunch of glue and nonsense and everything like that when I wanted to pop out this built-in screen protector. I just peeled it right out. No glue or any other nonsense on there. It came out super easy. I was happy about that. I didn't have to use a knife to cut everything out. It was very simple. I liked it. So it also comes with a belt clip and all that stuff, which I don't really trust these in general uh, for myself. Just be careful if you do. You might lose your phone and look down. You just have an empty holster. Um, not for me personally. It's cool that it comes with that. But what I do like these for is when you're carrying it around in a bag or something like that. You're at the gym or whatever. You can stick it in there and that will protect your screen really well. So I like that. So that's cool. So I am going to hang on to it and use that just as a extra protection or something like that. Now one thing I'll show you is on my old phone over time the front part of this will start to crack so in the corners i don't know how this is going to hold up over time but with a certain amount of drops and you know just getting beat up and stuff like that that'll start to crack but it won't affect your phone protection or anything like that but i've just had a couple of these crack on me over the years after like a year or something they'll start to have small little micro cracks and eventually it'll just come off like that but if you're keeping it in here it's not a big deal and you could easily glue this with super glue or something like that but with how cheap these are like 20 bucks um i think it's just better to buy a new one and be done with it and have a fresh case on there but I love these cases. I've dropped iPads downstairs. I've dropped phones out of trucks uh, onto concrete, you know, and stuff like that. And they've always protected my phones. I don't care about beating up the case, you know, a $20 case, whatever, right? But, you know, the thousand plus dollar phone you really need to take care of, especially if you don't have Apple Care or anything like that. But yeah, I highly recommend these cases. And I will put a link in the description for Amazon. Yeah, uh, if you want to check it out. But yeah, highly recommend. Thanks for watching.